today's video, we'll be learning how to create this image carousel in Figma. My name is Jacqueline and this is Akira Designs. As usual, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't for more content. Now, let's get started. Press F and add your frame. Add columns to your frame and set its margin to 100. Press T and type sign up. Adjust the text size and font. Drag it to the top, adjust the font weight and add an auto layout. Adjust the width of the auto layout and round its corners. Add a stroke to the auto layout group. Select the frame and change its background color. Select the auto layout group and change its selection colors. Press T, click in the frame and type out your text. Change its font and center align it. Increase its size and change its color. Press P to activate your pen tool. Draw your first line, press escape. Draw your second line, press escape. And draw your final line. Once you're done with that, press escape twice to leave the vector mode. Change your icon color, round its endpoints, and finally increase its width. Select all three elements, add a frame, and rename the frame to navbar. Press R and create a rectangle, then adjust its properties to that as shown on the screen. While holding down Option or Alt, drag the right corner point to the center. Release the Alt or Option and drag the other corner to the center as well. Duplicate the rectangle and drag the copy to the right. Adjust its width and height and change its corner radius settings. Its property should be as shown on screen. Duplicate the smaller rectangle and drag it to the bottom left. Press T. Click in your frame and start typing out your text. Duplicate your text twice and add an auto layout to the duplicates. Then rename the auto layout groups. Set the horizontal padding to both auto layout groups to zero. Make sure all the texts are perfectly aligned. Add a frame to the first text and select clip content. Then add a frame to the second text as well and select clip content. Rename the top frame to header top text and the bottom frame to header bottom text. Change the top text to street and change the bottom text to swagger. Select the top text, change its font and increase its size. Now select the header top text frame and drag it to the top. Then increase its height to make the rest of the text visible. Drag the bottom text away and duplicate the top text then drag its copy below it. Change the text to swagger and increase the frame width. Now, rename the duplicates and delete the other text. Now, 
Select both text and add an auto layout, then set the space between to 20. Rename the group to Category Text. Select the very first text, change its font and font weight, and reduce its size. Now, select all the header texts, adjust the space between them, and add a frame. Then rename the frame to header text. Select the header bottom text and turn off its visibility. Select the top text and set its auto layout direction to vertical. Select the text itself and duplicate it. Select the header top text frame and uncheck the clip content. Adjust the space between and set alignment to top left. Then change text to retro. Duplicate the text once again and change its content. Repeat this two more times. Select the header top text and click the clip content. Turn on the bottom text visibility and uncheck its clip content box. Select the bottom text and change its auto layout direction. Select the text itself and duplicate it. Then change its content. Repeat the duplicate two more times. Select the header button text frame and check its clip content. Lock all the foreground elements layers by clicking on the padlock icon beside their names in the layers panel. Click O. Hold down shift whilst drawing the circle. Increase the size of the circle and send it to the back. Change its color and reduce its opacity. Add a layer blur and set the blur value to 250. Duplicate the ellipse and drag it towards the right, then change its color. Duplicate the ellipse once again, drag it to the bottom this time and increase its width, then change its color.